Now, two communication satellites have collided in space around 800 kilometers above Siberia. It's the first crash of its kind, but NASA says it doesn't pose a threat to the International Space Station. A privately owned U.S. communication satellite has collided with a Russian communication satellite and this is the first such collision in years ever. Orbital junk has collided in space before but a collision of such magnitude is completely unprecedented. Now it's being reported that the Russian satellite is a Cosmos 2251 spacecraft which was launched back in 1993 and it's being reported that the Russian spacecraft has been non-operational for about 10 years. Now the Russian spacecraft weighed about a ton. The American spacecraft weighed over 1,000 pounds so it was really a massive, massive collision. The American spacecraft is privately owned by a company named Iridium. This company offers global satellite, phone and communication services. Now the debris that has been produced by the collision is going to be estimated over the next several weeks. Some experts are saying that the pieces of debris could be in the hundreds. Others are saying that they might as well be in the thousands considering the small pieces of objects that could be flying around after the collision. And as you said, this collision occurred about 500 miles over Siberia. NASA officials are saying that after this collision, it's going to take several weeks to determine the exact consequences, magnitude, and impact of this collision. It's important to note that the International Space Station is located below the collision course, which means that the debris flying around after the collision could somehow get closer to the International Space Station. However, NASA officials are saying that this risk is extremely low. However, they're going to continue to analyze and investigate and, of course, keep track track of this and in the case uh, if it becomes necessary the International Space Station might have to maneuver its position somehow. Now it's interesting to note that even though experts are saying that this is an extremely unprecedented case of course because orbital junk has before collided in space but two fully intact spacecraft colliding is an extremely unprecedented situation. Some are saying that it's completely unexpected. Others are saying this could have been expected since space really doesn't have any role, uh, rules of the road. So this is a really unique story. We're going to continue following it all throughout.